Hi guys, it's your girl Kyo Chemist and I'm coming to you with a quick outfit of the day. So let's get started. First we're going to start with my hair. Um, all I have here in the front is a little pompadour that I twisted up some of my uh, locks in the front, folded them back, um, and then secured them by basket weaving my hair over the top. And I did a basket weave all the way to the side and down here. So just kind of a side basket weave over top of the pompadour bangs and you've probably seen this done um, this is kind of inspired by styles I've seen done by J. Renee C when she still had her locks and she did the side uh, basket weave I've seen Jalicia do a style similar to, similar to this I've seen Afronique do a style similar to this um, I just uh, think in my case I was able to manage to do it without pins um, so yeah now, um, on my ears, I am wearing these earrings that I got from PeruvianEarrings.com. A really cute, colorful little earring. I'm wearing this ring, which has like some pale yellow stones in it. On my eyes, I am wearing uh, primarily shades by Supergirl Luscious. Um, in my inner, inner tear duct, I'm wearing a shade called Rome. I am wearing a color called Daisy on the um, two-thirds part of my lid. This center, or this outer third part of my lids, it's another color. It's a pigment I have. It's sort of a rust-colored copper shade. And then smoked out in my crease is a color by Supergirl Luscious called Michelangelo, which is like a dark blue shade. On my cheeks, I am wearing e.l.f. Studio Blush in Blushing Rose. And on my lips, I'm just wearing a simple lip gloss. And that is not my tail. That is actually Amaya in the background. So let's get started with the outfit. Um, so I am on my way into the city to go to the Metropolitan Museum and meet up with one of my favorite YouTube buddies. And so I decided that I want to do kind of a layering effect today, um, but I want to do some bright colors. So underneath I am wearing this navy blue tank top and it is uh, underneath this yellow sweater that is not showing up as bright as it actually is on camera, but it's pretty bright. Quarter length sleeve, um, very comfortable, casual. Um, little sweater. Uh, underneath or on the bottom I am wearing this denim skirt. Um, I really like it. I don't know how well you can see but it has some little stitching detail yeah, across the front there. And it's really cute. I've had this for a long time. Kind of a stretch denim and I think I got it at a thrift store for a few bucks. Um, on my feet I am wearing excuse me cord there. Uh, I am wearing these boots that I got at Bare Feet Shoes. They are in a lovely cognac shade and I'm um, sorry I'm wearing brown tights as well. Um, I'll give you a close-up of a little bit of the detailing of the boot because it's really kind of a cool cool shoe. Um, it has that zipper detailing going across like the toe here and then up to the side it's like a faux zipper there which I thought was really cool. The heel has uh, some black kind of shiny detail on it. It has a natural just like scrunching, ruching there. And then in the back it has this little lace detail with the tie. So that's all there is to the boot. Now since I'm going into the city, um, I wanted to, like I said, layer. I wanted to layer because the day could warm up and then it could cool down depending on how late I stay. So I decided that today was the perfect day to debut my beautiful um, wrap vest. It's kind of a circle vest. That's the inside. This is the actual outside. This was called Red Sunflower. I got this off of the Harriet's by Hakima website. And I'm going to try it on and let you guys see. I love this. Um, I've really gotten into African print lately. And when I saw this um, and she was having a sale, I knew I had to pick, uh, pick this up. So it crosses, why it's called a wrap vest, it crosses over and then it comes up. There's a button here, single button, <clears throat> and then that kind of secures it. Now, you know, you can play around with this. I could probably have left it open and worn it like a shawl, um, but I'm going to wear it pretty much like this today. Um, now it does, I do have a belt that kind of goes with this. But I just decide I'm going to wear it kind of loose and just free like this. So this is how it pretty much looks on. Um, also, I like the fact that it has this giant collar 
that you can really arrange however you can pull it more to the front you can pull it to the side and also if it gets cold later I can kind of flip it up and it will shield me from the wind so I really really like this I will put the link to her website so you guys can check out um, the items that she makes I think she's based out of Brooklyn New York but um, yeah, really love this. I also got a dress from her and I plan to probably purchase more pieces in the future. But this is my vest. And then over top of the vest, I am going to wear my Gap little denim trench coat that I've had for some years. I actually have a skirt that matches this coat. Um, but I decided to wear this other denim skirt, which is similar in shade, but not exact. So that's how that's going to look when it's all put together like so with a nice fluffy bunchy collar and again like I said if it gets cold later I can flip it up button up my coat and I'll be nice and warm so yeah guys this is my outfit of the day I hope you guys liked it feel free to comment rate subscribe and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are um, if i didn't mention before i'm going to the metropolitan museum of art in new york city to check out heroic africans which is an exhibit that i think will be shown through january 29th so if you guys get an opportunity check it out i heard that it's really great all right guys bye